we're tired of some that's it okay all right okay. here we go it's 6 30 p.m on tuesday may 17 2022 this is a meeting of the coventry uh, main trust and start with the first item uh, the meeting has been posted in accordance with open meeting laws so first agenda items is to determine uh, call to order here and a quorum so i will call names and jack donovan here dennis green here joyce peretta here Linda Brennan. <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna do it backwards. <laughs> I had Brendan and it's just like no, <laughs> Linda Brennan here. Yeah. Um, Rory Carmody is not here. She uh, texted me and won't be able to join us tonight. Okay. And Glenn Underwood here. Okay, so we do have a quorum. And with that, we will go to our next uh, evacuation instructions. John, please let us have that. Sure. Um, so anybody that's uh, joining us here, uh, you can go out this door behind you and out to the left. It's probably the best, best option. Okay. okay. Great. All right. Uh, the minutes of the April 19th, 2022 meeting uh, minutes have been distributed. I want to take a motion to accept the minutes. I have one correction. All right. So what do you have there? Okay, we were talking about the Bamford family Blackrock Road, and the minute said that um, um, that the the historical commission is doing the work now to preserve the rock, but that's not true as far as I know. It's actually the Shawmut tribe that's doing the work, and I don't know whether the historical commission is involved or not. So we don't know whether. Okay. So your last, the last sentence here is right. right. Um, yes. Um, remove from the agenda going forward as the historical commission is doing the work now, and I think that should be the Shawmut mm -hmm. tribe. Okay. okay. Did anyone else have any comments on the, the minutes? I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes with the correction of changing the historical commission to the Shoma tribe in the last sentence on page two, paragraph one. So moved. So moved by Linda. Do I hear a second? Seconded by Joyce. Any further discussion on the minutes? All those in favor say aye. 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 Dennis, do I have an aye from you? Uh, I wasn't here last Oh, time. that's right. Yeah. So you're abstaining. Right. One abstention from Dennis, not here. So the minutes are approved. All right, ongoing business. Uh, outreaches uh, avenues to encourage organized volunteers. Uh, we've already been championing that for us and did get us some help on our uh, walk that we did on our cleanup on Stella Hall property. So it was good to, to have some new people and I think we can certainly encourage um, that continued as we move forward with Stella Hall for this year's land trust days. Um, anybody else have anything on the uh, organizing volunteers section? Right. I was out there Sunday and it did look like a few things have been picked up. There okay. seem to be fewer tires and just, you know, I have pictures of what was there. Okay, good. Yes, there are some pictures too. Uh, you have some too? We did a little recon. Uh, okay, when we get down to Stella Hall, we'll go over that section. Um, Carpentry Land Trust website pages updates, Linda. Um, I sent this to Gail and she sent it out. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know whether anybody has any comments or correction. If that's the one I received. I looked it over real quick. Yeah. And I think we should go forward with it. Okay. I thought so too. Okay. Right. It has the trails that we know we have, the others we can follow suit later. Right. And it has you know, general. I couldn't find my copy. Yeah, this is this should be posted. I think we should put it to the website. I think it's ready. So 
What do we need to do to get that on, John? Can you? So I'll uh, reach out to Cody. Mm -hmm. um, he said in the past that as long as um, we provide the, uh, the actual, yeah. yeah, what what needs to be said, it's easy enough for him to now transfer that to the website. So I'll reach out to him and uh, I'll pass it along. All right. Okay. And if he has any questions, refer him to Linda sure. as for how, you know, Linda's been, and I'm sure she'll be working with, with Lynn um, also on mm -hmm. developing that uh, technology stuff that we're working on. So, yeah. That's great. Good work. All right. Thank you. Progress. Thank you. I like yes. it. <laughs> All right. We're moving ahead. Moving to the 2022 now. All right. Important calendar dates. Uh, the only thing we did our, our cleanup day, which was uh, great. Um, good participation. And we went out there and did that. So that's in the past now. Now moving forward, um, do we have anything other than our land trust days that we really need to, to focus on for important calendar dates coming up. Are we going to kayak on June 16th? <laughs> Glenn is not going to be kayaking on June 16th, but uh, anyone is more than welcome to do the boating day, the, the kayaking day. It'd be, I'm sure it'd be a fun opportunity, but... Um, it would be the transportation, you know, but the, the, they've been right. sitting out there in my daughter's, you know, yeah. right. driveway area, all cleaned up being used <laughs> we ha we have kayaks but i know our our calendar is already filling up pretty quickly and so i don't think that, okay well we did like i said we did we did a big one on earth day so that was i think right. that's great that we participated in that and were able to to use that and and still all property for land trust days are too big calendar events for us so any other it talks or discussions on that all right, potential properties of interest. Do we have anybody see any or hear of any opportunities or want to discuss any opportunities that have been brought forth to them? Anything new? The, the sign came down from that property on near the Greenway, you know, but that was a uh, Suncraft boat yacht or something. Like oh, the one next to the, the, the train bridge right there. By right by the bridge right. and the trestle. Um, yeah, I noticed the sign yeah, was down. Are, Pine Haven Road and yeah. all that area. Yeah, I don't know what, so, had, what happened with that property. I mean, I don't know. It was, what do they want, a million dollars for the, the waterfront piece of yeah, property? Three, I think. Yeah, 1.3. Yeah. It said no trespassing or something, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that's what Dennis's summer cottage is going there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that uh, you know, that's uh, obviously in Johnson's Pond's a hot topic, as we all know, in the, oh, in yes, the news. Yes. So there, there was, yeah. but it, I don't think, um, obviously, it wasn't in our, our budget range. So somebody, yeah, whether it, it was sold was or on took the agenda them. for the uh, town council to encourage, you know, the state to take action on waters and mm -hmm. permits for dams. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a bill in the Senate, in the state Senate. Yeah, I was there at the council meeting and they did mm. support the, the legislation that was mm -hmm. being proposed. Okay, nothing new there. Grant opportunities, anything hot on that end? Okay. All right, let's move into the old business. Uh, Leah Cavanaugh, any updates, John? Do we have any? Yeah, so uh, the way that we left it off last time, um, the appraiser, he just kind of ghosted us for a bit. Um, I finally did end up getting in touch with him. Um, he answered the phone right away. Uh, it was extremely apologetic right off the bat. Um, and I didn't get into exactly why. Um, it, it didn't seem important. Um, he did say, though, by the end of this week, he would have, um, at the very least, a, a verbal number. And then beginning of next week, he would have the report. Excellent. Okay. okay. So we will proceed with that and um, continue on. Uh, hopefully, have a be ready to make a decision and, and next meeting on that. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Grasset property, Mumford Street update. Uh, we did meet with the council in the executive session. Um, and we've got some action items that, that John, have you? um started that progress to yes okay so. yeah so um i've reached out to the uh the the parties at b and um those items are progressing okay so we're we're looking favorable that if, if things all 
uh, come together. I mean, I've had um, George, George's Boxdale uh, also kind of responded with me um, and I gave him an update that things are progressing and that- And I've be, reached out to Gary um, as well. And he, uh, he said, yeah, he's still he's on board with everything and um, just okay. let him know when, when we need okay. something from him. Okay, okay, so it's moving on to paperwork stages. So the, the plan would be is to get a final, you know, paperwork put together and uh, final approval from council after everything is. So the, the legal side and all the paperwork side is moving, will be the next phase. So we're pretty much out of it at this point. We've made our, our work, but it looks like everyone's uh, supporting the actions that we're in the direction we're taking on that. So. Capuano property. I did not have any luck uh, reaching out. Um, do you have, have, has he called you or any? He, he has called me. Yeah. Um, he hasn't in the past. I, I don't think he's called me since the last meeting, um, but I could probably grab a hold of his number. And yeah, if you want to shoot. To yeah, if you want to reach out to him sure. or, or, or send me, I don't. His name Mondo. Yeah, um, um, is it a Mundo? Yeah, yeah Mundo. A Mundo. Yep. A Mundo. I don't want to mispronounce it, but uh, yeah, and just see where he's at, or you can also send me um, if he wants to talk. You sure. Know, um, you can give him my number too. Okay. Uh, we'll just continue um, on that. And our, our action there was sort of just get a, you know, would a possible price range to, to start with. Um, in this day and age, we know everything's all over the place um, as for what people expect. Okay. Ongoing issue drones. Rory's not here to update us on that. Boundary markers. We installed our first two boundary yes. markers. And Dennis was supervising uh, <laughs> that was operation, <laughs> making sure I put them up level. And um, they are fairly easy to install, so that's not going to be if I still have the extra hardware, um, but I put up the two signs and we put them on on each side of the Stella Hall um, entrance there and we'll monitor them for any vandalism or whatever. So it's a, I think they'll look good along our, our boundary lines will become something that will you know, be able to signify so. Um, we just need a ladder and a, I had the like, cordless electric cordless, drill yeah. mm -hmm. and Dennis with a steady eye and we're good to go. So I, I don't well, think I always like to. <laughs> yeah, it's a little that was a, the entrance was a little hot, tough because of ground level. But I think, uh, you know, we if we use a consistent height, you know, so it's off the ground so no one can just walk up and pull them down, but you don't want them too high so people miss them. So mm. we just got to use that judgment range and they, they are visible. So. Okay, and the chain was removed. Yes, and I've got the chain at my house because ah. the chain was sitting on the ground. So we've got to figure out. Um, I saw Kevin the, the other night at the meeting. Um, the blocks had been been yeah, moved. Moved. Uh, pretty moved. wide right now. A couple motorcycles stopped as I was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, you know. They were starting to pull it, and then they saw me and just stopped to put on a jacket. And so stay. the chain, the <laughs> chain, and I, I took the chain so no one would steal the the pieces of the chain. Um, obviously, because it was sitting down, but somebody had broken the lock. It looked like it had been cut. Um, and the keys that, and I've still got that other the key that you that didn't do it. No. Oh, okay. No. So that That's was. <laughs> I don't know. It may have been the original. Okay. Because we tried the key in the kiosk and we tried the key in the gate, and it didn't. So they may have changed locks over mm -hmm. time. So that key doesn't go to anything, even though it's at Stella Hall. It's nothing that's there now. So it's probably a lock that's that uh, removed. But so the chain is down. I've got the piece of chain, so that didn't disappear off. I put that at my house. But we got. I guess the. Um, I don't know who moved the blocks to open it up, and it may be. You know, a smart thing during fire season because it's so that's a tender box back there, yep. and we don't want the fire trucks not to be able to mm -hmm. access that path. Um, so I think it goes back to a situation on some of these properties um, that you know we have to have a long term plan as for how to access emergency vehicles in there. If somebody got hurt and they need to get the um, 
one of those SUV style vehicles or a fire, small brush fire truck down in there. Uh, we want them to be able to, to you know, because the, the trail will still be accessible, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. with the blocks there, the fire companies could never get through it. So right. um, I'm not a big fan of the blocks, but as we've seen on like Trestle Trail, they have the bollards that you can remove the bollards yep. so the fire department can take the bollards off. So I think we need in certain areas where we have a, a path that's already designed and accessible by um, emergency vehicles, we might wanna consider a plan um, um, that's more favorable for access for the fire department. And setting blocks is not, uh, you mm -hmm. know, they can right. cut gates and locks and stuff. They mm -hmm. have bolt cutters and things like that, but they can't move blocks mm -hmm. too easily. I mean, right. suppose you could if you had a big enough vehicle that could drag a 3,000 pound block. So anyways, that's something to ask whether Kevin's group moved it. it. You know, my first guess, we were thinking that maybe the dam, the beaver dam has gotten pretty big again and back down there and whether yep. whether they were getting ready to go in to, to um, do some work on that, but it had to be someone with a machine. Yeah, that, that's significant. Yeah. Conservation Commission? No. Nothing. You know, there, in the past, we've, we've talked about our relationship with the Conservation Commission. And at the time, we were told, we get the land, Conservation Commission manages it. But, you know, maybe that's who did the original Beaver Road mm. that we know we did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think that, I that know. yeah, I don't know who did that. But, uh, yeah. Um, it, it seems we should know, though, it's the land trust, if, you know, another group is doing the project. Right. Well, as Public Works, they may have gone in just originally to remove the beaver dam and did some cutting and some some other stuff mm -hmm. down there. But now it's just now moving forward. Yeah. If they do need to access that to, to so we don't flood the road, that's fine. Mm -hmm. The water is backing up. Yeah. yeah so it looked pretty high. Yeah, it was very dam. deep. It goes mm -hmm. right into the woods. That's why know? I'm thinking that yeah. it may have been them to... to to, so I'll send Kevin an email on, on that and just ask him and maybe we can come up with something joint to for access, you know, that the fire department can also mm -hmm. access it. Yeah, access it. Kevin, maybe. You know, what are you talking about, Kevin? Right, this, this part of the trail up here is where all of this is located. And it would be a vehicle, maybe with a, a lift gate, to go get the rest of the yeah it's yeah because we're trying to figure out using a wheelbarrow mm -hmm. you, it, I mean, it, uh, so and there are some you, substantial tires up there too and then there's one other tire as you proceed from the road probably about 150 maybe 200 yards in it's on the ground on the left side of the trail and it's a, a tire you know similar to this it's not a toyota tire so if I send Kevin an email and ask him if he can send and coordinate with you two uh, a little pickup truck for the town to just go out and pick up this debris. Uh, Four-wheel drive pickup the and the, wheel, yeah. the blocks would have to be moved first right. so that so we can get in there because you got, they have to go through that sand lot. Yeah. Well, there's the side trail that isn't as bad, but there's still sand at the end of that is where you cut the tree, yeah. you know, the trail where the tree was cut. On Earth Day, we're, 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 we're talking the site that we're talking a about truck right now get in there. is here. Yeah. This this is the site. Remember when what? we did Earth Day, we went to the back there, and that's where we found all the. Yeah, that's the main area we're talking about right now. Right, and there's a secondary area on the second part of the trail. Yeah, this is where you which get is the over cutting, here. isn't it? Oh no. Okay. Wait a Jack and I walked it again, and there's items oh, yeah, in that's there. The other end. Oh, that's okay. something that we could. Yeah. If we so had does to, does the town yes. have one of those ATV? Not ATV. It's an RTV. They call them um, work vehicles. That yeah, it's a work vehicle. It's it's not a pickup truck. You know, it's it's right. got a like the state uses on the green yeah, light. like the state uses on the greenway because that would be more suitable to drive down there, throw it, tires it, in, and drive right back out. That'd be two or three runs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but at least it'd be easier, and they wouldn't get easier, yeah get yeah. stuck and yeah. going through the narrow areas. They wouldn't worry about tree. They, well, I'll I'll ask them. Okay, you want to see to give them can, pictures. Yeah. Gail probably still has these saved on. All right. Well, if Gail, I'll I'll. I'll I think he knows what, you know, I can tell him a few times ever if we can get. Okay. 
and, and, and this is this is the site where it yep. is and then there's some other debris like if, if you had your tractor we could fill the bucket over down there. down there yeah, too. yeah. That, that would be a lot easier your tractor, yeah. i think yeah, yeah, yeah that's a, that's something we can handle we can lift yeah it's just tough for me to get the truck and the trailer at the same same time yeah, yeah. The, the, because of all the work that we're doing at the bog so well jack if, if you interfaced with uh kevin right maybe we could just give him a walk and show him what we're talking about this stuff here yeah yeah, yeah. and also maybe over here he might be able to help us too maybe well, we need some kind of vehicle to get in there, and we, we could load it up. Well, if they have if, either the... If we can get in there, yeah. let's see if we can get in to do everything. Yeah. All right, so, so do you want to handle that? Just talk to them about the blocks and a gate access sort of scenario situation, you know, for, for both fire and so people don't have to deal with heavy cement blocks in case there is a fire and then also see if he's got something that he can you want me to speak to him yeah if you've okay. got time during the day to just swing okay. in and give him I'll, a call I'll, or I'll do that next week and just drop in and then that way and we'll volunteer to help load up whatever yeah. we just they, they may have be able to spend an hour or two down right. there just won't take them long if they get the right equipment right Probably okay. two guys, three guys for no, the delay equipment. All right, so we're on boundary markers. So the next thing I would say that we continue um, going over to after we get done with Stella Hall this year and, and our work list done, that the next thing let's go mark Trestle Trail and the Bowden property with our our uh, trail markers and start going from there and getting. So it's just a small ladder and the electric drill and away we go. Mm -hmm. Kiosk. Okay. Um, did you want to now talk about this? Sure. You okay. can talk about what goes There's in the kiosk. There's nothing in that kiosk. It's yeah. so hot. Mm -hmm. So if people come in with yeah. vehicles, you know, we have no that we have no complaint against them if we aren't listing some conditions. The kiosk needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. You say listing conditions, rules, and so forth. Your statement. Clarify your last statement, please. What conditions are you talking about? In the well, chaos? I mean, if people come in tearing around with the SUVs up there in the sandbar or anything, you know, if it's open enough for people to get in and we don't have a sign in the kiosk restricting anyone. I don't think okay. the person in the SUV is actually going to read that. They ripped the all sign that out. Yeah. yeah. They ripped all that out. Yeah. I they think, ripped them all all the time. <laughs> I think the, 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 you know, identifying it with the gate or whatever we're going to put there that's openable for for people that need to get in there like the fire department or or public works or whatever is one one issue mm -hmm. the kiosk itself having the signage i think we we're talking about various what what do we want to have them on display in the signage mm -hmm. uh in the, the kiosk so linda you had a couple of things that okay. you were working on well i think we we already have that tick sign mm -hmm. um and i suspect that it would be worthwhile to have a, a map of the trail system yeah um and then we had talked about invasive insects and so i had gathered like the ones that seem most prominent and i just made this but it was just it's just a general thing um so i can add in perhaps some a little bit about each of these insects then i've also been hearing um about worms that jumping are invasive worms. there's jumping worms that are invasive that have been found in rhode island and if they get into the woods they will clean out all the dust that the 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 um trees need to live you know all the uh the leaf mulch and stuff mm -hmm. and then there's also hammerhead worms which are not really, I mean, I might not want to include those, but hammerhead worms are, um, they have a neurotoxin on their surface. So do not pick them up. Oh, okay. um, so, and so they're just, um, they're not going to be harm the environment, that, but they'll harm you if you touch them. So- Do we have these here? We have these here now in Rhode Island, not much. The jumping worms are a bigger problem, but they have spotted a couple of the uh, hammerhead worms. No, what was the detriment for the jumping worms? Jumping worms are a very aggressive worm, 
And so what they do is they go in and they digest all the accumulated leaf stuff and stuff like that, which actually is the fertilizer for the forest. And so they totally disrupt the um, ecosystem because they, they, you know, gather all the nutrients from themselves and they outcompete the, the usual worms that would live in. Mm. Uh, so, although it's interesting that even earthworms, regular earthworms are an invasive species in a sense, because when the glaciers came through Rhode Island, they plowed up all the worms and there were no worms here until Europeans came, but earthworms are beneficial. So, but jumping worms are not. So. Are those the ones you for fishing? The, <laughs> not the jumping worms, no. No, the other ones, the other ones. The other ones, yes. So, so I guess the, the question, um, do any of these particular invasive insects have like a season? So if we had, you know, a regular routine of things that we wanted to, to display and change out and say we had four kiosks or six kiosks at the various, you know, properties, and then, you know, in the spring, we should be looking out for this particular invasive and this particular bug. So we could then just have a rotation of, of signage. And what would be nice is for like our land trust days is having this information available, you know, pamphlet style for both the invasive plants and the invasive um, insects. So people, you know, are alert that this stuff is happening around us and it will damage the open space and the preserved lands that we're trying to protect. Okay. Um, it'd be nice to pass, keep people informed as they come out because a lot of people don't, you know, unless you read the news articles about the weevils and various things that are heading our way and they're on our borders in all directions, um, don't know what to look for either. Yeah. You know, what's, what's the sign of it, you know? Um, so that stuff is gonna be, you know, pretty handy because the DEM and they want you to call them right away if you spot any of these things so they can right. take, um, take action. But uh, I would think it would be good if we can seasonally change our information in the kiosk and on certain things so it's not always you know people walk by and now oh, that's the same old stuff no mm -hmm. if we change it and say we're highlighting you know ticks in the this season and then come the winter we're looking for this activity or whatever um, and just make it it'll be part of our once we get ourselves established if we have regular laminated cards that we can put in the kiosk you know and then say all right we're going to do this these then we'll the change them property has all those papers in there which I think are still there. Okay. All those are laminated. Okay. Yeah, they're laminated. Yeah. Okay. Because when we put that latches, remember I said, oh, these are all, they won't get wet and walk now. You know, yeah. so right. They, That's so important that we get them. Yeah. And then just for our land trust days, just having the pamphlet on the, you know, what we feel are the things that could be, you know, localized to be on the lookout for in the carpentry here. Okay. And one of the things I might, reach out and do is see if instead of reinventing the wheel there's pamphlets like this right. that um the dm may you know the, yeah has. they may have that stuff and that would be a good yeah you know a great idea and in the other place and um across the street at the library you know and distributing them to the green library in the various locations that people um you know, that could be part of our, our, not that I want to expand our mission, we have enough on our, our plate, but at least I think that's important that people pay attention to some of these things that they don't even know that's happening in mm -hmm. their own backyard probably now. But um, if we can get, you know, if you can do a, a little reach out and see if they have any pre-formatted stuff that we could actually, you know, get, that would be great. And okay. then we can make sure that you know, well, if we can get one, we can always make copies, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I, I also um, reach out to URI extension. Yes. They're another great resource. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be uh, really good. Um, so um, the tick stuff was good. I think all all of those things are pertinent to have remind everybody um, entering the woods. All right, so that's the kiosk. We do have to do a cleanup on the one, and when we get to our stellar hold checklist, we'll go down the, the work that we need to do there. Dennis is chomping at the bit, ready to fire up that checklist. No, we gotta get hustle on, we're gonna miss that tape. That's right, so we're gonna hustle on that. Um, signage, uh, so we were gonna talk with 
Kevin again, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I did talk to him. He said that uh, he has no problem um, with uh, you know and... having either him or whoever go out and help and, and put that sign up and sure. dig the holes for it. So all he needs is um, the the spot to be marked out, basically. So can at the same conversation, Jack, can you just coordinate and just say, all right, um, where, where is the sign? The, he's got the I sign in his basement. Or in the oh, barn. it's in the bar. The oh, you're talking about the uh, Janice, Janice Sullivan. Sullivan. Yes, oh, yes. oh, I thought you were saying Sella Hall. No, no. Janice oh, Sullivan. Oh, okay. So we asked to, that Kevin come out and actually, okay. you know, have the backhoe yeah. and, yeah. you know, well, so. We, we had marked it. I think yeah, the marked it. Mark are they still there? That I don't know. Um, we'd have to check that yeah. first. So let's, why don't we put that on when you're talking to him, say that. Okay. See if you can set up a date and that okay. way, Dennis, we can shuttle the uh, sign down. Okay. And, you know, see what else, uh, if we need some ready mix, uh, yeah. some of that instant I, concrete, we got. I have some in. Yeah. So we just need to, to go over the details with Kevin. If we can set that up when he's got a few minutes to, to tackle that, that would be really, okay. really big. For us to get that sign on the ground, we'll, we'll review this and okay. we can we can double team them. Double team, <laughs> yeah. We can, uh, okay. Friday's my best day for double team. Okay, it wouldn't be this Friday though. All right. And next Friday's going into the the and holiday probably, weekend. So you might see the following yeah the following week. I'll take your lead. You tell okay. me. Okay. okay. All right. All right, perfect. So that's that. If we can, if Kevin's willing to help us, he just needs coordination on okay. our our part and. Great, thanks, John. Mm -hmm. All right. What about sign for Stella? Okay, well, let's talk about. Well, let's let's. We'll go. I'm going to want to go down the checklist uh, okay. on Stella Hall, so that way we can we'll put that into that discussion, so we don't lose anything. It's going to be on our uh, task list. Okay. But that's a good good point. Um, the Stella Hall really doesn't have. General trail system uh, maintenance and improvements. Um, a tree fell down um, at Whipple property where Whipple connects with the bike trail. That entrance, it's just inside the entrance. It's a fairly large tree. And um, it was mentioned to us by somebody who was walking the trails. And she said she really had a hard time scrambling in to get into Whipple, trying to climb over this trail. And we went to see it, and it was indeed, you know, I like about, big. Um, well, it, the log is about this thick, so it's a good, good, it's hollow, so I don't know how, but um, at least part of it seemed to be, but it's, you know, a good two foot diameter. Um, we'll have to see. If well, we did Bolton probably, what, a couple of weeks ago on Saturday? Mm -hmm. We cut down um, yeah. trees across the trail, we cut a lot of them up. So it's on the end on, on the bike trail. End. It's on the bike trail end. So just as you walk in from the bike trail, um, it's right there. Mm. All right. This is Whipple? Whipple. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Let me, um, and you, you actually visually saw it. So. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a cell phone that you can snap pictures with or one of the, these smartphones? Or do you I do. We, I don't think we, we didn't think to do that. But. Yeah. If you, and that's one thing. If you ever see something, because sometimes it's easy to judge whether it's something that's real easy for us to go real quick and just take a zap, zap for the saw mm -hmm. and roll out of the way. Or sometimes the, the logs are, or the, the position of the tree is a little bit more precarious that we have to get um, other hands uh, available. So it could be something that I can just run in with a, Okay. Soar and lop out of the way. I'll try to get down there. We're go leaving. We're going away for a few days. So this week. Um, but if I don't get to it before we leave, I'll get, I'll we'll walk okay. it afterwards because we're we're close to that. Okay. Perfect. If you kid, um, I know. If I go before, then I'll, I'll let you know. I'm, okay. I've got a couple commitments this week to my evening, so I don't have quite the time to run home and. But if I knew how big it was, then it would be real easy to, right. to say I can just do it in five minutes and be done with it or just clear it so the trail's open. All right, so we have one tree on Whipple uh, Trail. And you checked uh, Bowden and everything, when except we for we haven't done it. On Saturday we did it? Yeah. Yeah. 
About how many? We, we didn't. We didn't do the yellow trail. Oh, the, the white trail. The white trail. Okay. The white trail. We didn't do. Right. No, that's right. That's right. So we still, still, if anyone gets the opportunity to, to now that it's getting a little drier and the, the white trail may be a little bit more mm -hmm. easy to cross there, um, I think that, that one's going to need. I'm sure that we're going to find something down on that trail because of all the wind that we've had, especially in the last couple of weeks here. All right, so we need to check white. All right. Anything else on the trail system? All right, we're on to Dennis's favorite pot, Stella Hall task list. It's a system I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll, I don't know. I know we did this once before, but I don't know if anybody has John, your copies or not. <laughs> Sorry, John. All right, so task A, the general cleanup is still something we have to do. That's still more than we anticipated. <laughs> so this well, is we found a lot of stuff that's been dumped yeah. out there. So this is kind of a between land trust and the town now. All right. So right now Jack, the, the, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, right now, so the the request is Jack's gonna talk with Kevin and see if they can support us and help us to to run down there and get that rest of the stuff out of there. Okay, so we've got an action on that. Hopefully that will clear that um, up on task A. All right, task B, I would say it's complete. Parking area is good. We did a general walk around, review requirements. Um, the only thing that I was, uh, well, no, that's good. Town support is required. We just basically covered cover that. Okay. That's for the parking area. Yeah, right in the front there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's completed as far as you do we yep. agree? Yeah. All right. All right, the entrance, we're not going to do any new entrance. We're going to stick to where we are. Mm -hmm. So in essence, we can really take this off now. Yeah, the only thing we said is we wanted to cut the brush on the edge of the oh, road. So let's just yeah. put on the entrance yeah. area to the trail, cut brush back, just to trim, trim it back. We said we'd bring some clippers and, you know, just uh and we want to keep that um, area mode as possible. I mean, it's, you know, so people don't walk in the road. I think the suggestion was is that we throw down some wood chips in the beginning of the season there just to, to keep the grass and the, the, the weeds, but we do need to trim. So let's, let's leave that as just cut and trim, trim back. And we can do that. Any anytime anyone can go walk and just snip yep. in and bring a hand, pair of hand clippers and just clear that. Well, as far as the new location, that's how. Yeah, no new location, no, too complex. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to go with the kiosk that we have there right now. Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about that. Okay. Since we didn't, we, you know, the kiosk is at the entrance of the trail, mm -hmm. but. There's nothing at the parking lot, and I think this is where we we're going with signage that mm -hmm. for for Stella Hall. And there's there's two two things that that um, we may and again I don't want to burden Kevin with public works with with things, but there's you know we don't have any you know how a lot of roads you'll see the sign in Stella Hall parking or something you know a, you know state park or we're not saying this is a state park but yeah. you'll have a natural highway road sign directing you to that because a lot of people will drive right by and not even know that there's anything even there to right. consider um instead of us having to you know we need one sign pointing to the trailhead if you're up in the parking lot if you don't know where to go that the trail the actual opening is further down. So I do think we need at least a sign point to trail or whatever, you know, to, to mark if you pull in the parking lot to head that way. But I, I'm wondering whether in, in locations like this, whether it's it's viable to reach out to have, you know, some small road signage, street signage made to, you know, Stella Hall parking ahead, you know, when 
just mm -hmm. um, what about like at Whipple? There's those green signs. There's a big one at Whipple. Big green, mm -hmm. yeah, and that looks like it matches all the other town it does. parks. Yeah. That's a that's a huge big sign right at the beginning opening of right. that. And so, how if, did that come about? I mean, is that an avenue we could pursue? Park and recreation. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Right. Yeah. If you have the sign like they have, you're speaking of which I agree with. All right putting that type right there, you can't go wrong. Right. I mean, you know, if you see the sign, open area, you know it's parking, here you are. Mm -hmm. You might not even need a kiosk if you didn't want to, in a sense. So the, the question is, all right, we all think it's a great sign and we know what the next question will be, is how much <laughs> and who's gonna do it. <laughs> Yeah. And I think if we went over to, to Parks and Recreation and said, put up a sign at the at there, the first question back, well, who's going to pay for it? Because they're not, you know, let's face it, they're not cheap to do the, the one that's at Whipple is, would probably cost us a thousand dollars and supplies to pay for Well, just what we pay for Janus Sullivan was price and the lumber and the materials. I mean, can you do it? No, I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying I can do it. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking back as far as lumber is concerned. We just did a re renovation in our house and we had a deck made of mahogany, I believe. And um, we had to shorten the deck to add on a sunroom. And so my husband's been doing all sorts of things with all this leftover mahogany, but I think there's there might be enough mahogany there <laughs> for a sign, which would, I don't know how viable that is, but at least if that would be a possibility and I can ask my husband, um, we could at least have the wood to start with, which needs to be cleaned up because it's pretty weathered. And so, so you know what I would do, one possibility, if you do stop at Whipple again, take a measurement of what they did there because it is a nice sign and right. see how they, measurements already. You, you've got Whipple's measurements for I, what I, they use for we the were boards. Gonna, as an option, if we didn't do what we did, I was going to go with that type of style. Yeah. So I took all those measurements. All right. Do we know? The problem is I got to find them. Okay. Well, whoever gets, uh, you can, can you can you send them to me? Yeah, first I gotta find them. Okay. Yeah, if not, take a tape measure with the go <laughs> to, to see because that's that. that's the right size I think that yeah. you want to have for Stella Hall. And I that's mean, pine board, which could go the you know across Connecticut line, mm -hmm. and you can I forgot the guy's name, but he cuts all the pine into different sizes or whatever thickness. The only problem is to route it out. Right. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, because that's a routed sign and painted in. Yeah. I don't have the time to do anything like that anymore. Well, I'll talk to my husband, but I and I don't know. I mean, he's so um, so. If we could use the mahogany, would that be uh, maybe too hard to engrave like that mm -hmm. mahogany? So so How thick was the mahogany though? Was it a two inch or an inch? It's that's that thick. It's it's pretty thick. Like so? But I don't really I'm not really good at that sort of stuff. So I don't know. But it, well, you know, if it's an inch thick mahogany and we just route what can router into it, that's the second part. I mean mahogany is a good wood for right. exterior. Mm -hmm. Um and stain it and then paint in the letters. We'll see what you got. Measure, you know, if we get a measurement, but I do agree that in the parking lot area, that would be nice to have as this is Stella Hall and then still a, a sign directing trailhead, you know, one of those smaller signs yeah. on a post, just trailhead that just way. An arrow sign. Yeah, just an arrow trailhead. Yeah. That's all. Okay, so we do, we'll take a few options on that. Um, The, the worst thing about buying regular pine that, or even two inch pine that's that's local is it, the wood is so soft now it's fast grown and the stuff just rots right out on you. I mean, okay. it doesn't, you know, it's not like the pine of the old days where it was. Seasons, so to speak. Well, yeah, if you uh -huh. look how fast they grow it and then, you know, it's really, yeah. it's almost like also. Yeah. But, you know, we could see if we can get the mahogany and or 
uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so that that would that's a, the next thing we need to know. What are we just going to put on Stella Hall? What? Um. Yeah. So I guess conservation areas. Yeah, what we're Stella Hall. Called, you know, land. Do you want to identify it as land trust property? Would you just Stella Hall conservation? That's how the yeah, other one. St Stella Hall Conservation Area. What does it say? At, I can't remember Whipple. What does it say on Whipple's? It, I think it just says conservation. Yeah. It just says conservation right. area. I think it says area too. Yeah. Okay. So if we yeah. use a standard format, that would be. We could have the town seal on anything we do because we are town. Yeah, but a <laughs> seal would be. Trying to get that carved into wood would be tough. That may be challenging. Yeah. I need to back up for just for a second. We established a date, and I haven't talked to Candace lately, that we were going to try to do the, uh, September 18th. the 18th, if I remember right. How come I didn't write that down? All right. I yeah, think so we'll, you should put that on the top yeah. on your list there, September. That's maybe because I didn't finish talking to Candace, is why I didn't put it to you. But last year we did. September, but the way it looks right now, I don't know if we, and I think they go out to October. Um, if we don't start hustling, I'm not sure we're gonna make even a set, a September. Date. Well, let's finish our list okay. and see where we're at. I mean, luckily right. there's not a lot of work in my opinion that we have to do. Even if we don't have the sign Stella Hall, we're still gonna be able to do okay. it. Okay, all right, that's what I'm leaving Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about the sign. Being, okay. As long as that's, that's something that should be there, but eventually could get there. Yeah, but that's okay. not going to hold us up for okay. our land trust. I think mm -hmm. let's let's go down your tax list and see if there's no something that we're not going to get done that's going to show status. Okay, task D is uh, the kiosk. Um, at this point, we're going to leave it as it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, repair it and put the new information and put the, in. And put the new information in. So a new location for the kiosk, we're going to see us out. Because if we open up the walkway and eventually have some indication of where the trail begins, as well as your main sign mm -hmm. in the future, then mm -hmm. we'll use the chaos that's already there. That'll save us at least a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. An archway. <laughs> right. <Could you> like <laughs> so? Right. You started, Joyce. And I'll come back and yeah. hear from them. We'll, see how we'll you build do it. it out of stone. <laughs> well, yeah. We should conservation sign all So we're going to put repair as needed, and that comes up. That's out. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we don't have to, material and tools might stay, but no digging a hole, no plumbing, no nothing. Okay. That's out. Standard materials is what we would use anyhow on anything we do, so we can pass that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, the trail. We, again, falls into once the cleanup is done, we need a map. Okay. So when I was, I forgot that lady's name. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn Carlson. Lynn Carlson. Lynn Carlson. Yeah. At, when we had that little group meeting, I don't know, maybe two or three months ago, mm -hmm. she mentioned mapping. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I can give her what I have, or she takes her. Uh, she said she'd walk it with her. Right. That's what I'm leading up to. Yeah. But I was going to like see if she could do something similar to this mm -hmm. that we did for the Bowman property. Now that task, how long it takes her to do it, I, I don't know. Well, why don't we, let's put but her I, as, as, as the person that can do that with showing the format. Right. We can just share that information with her. But do you have her email? Yes. Yes. All right. Do you oh, want I to, can talk to you. Do you want me to forward it to you? If you could. Sure. And she's going to be part of the land truck on the soon. Yeah. She's going to be so I'll, yeah, I'll try to interface with her. Yeah. Stop a meeting. Jack, I'll get a hold of you. Mm -hmm. And maybe some we'll Friday. Go hike. And we'll go hike with her. Okay. Yeah. Set up something with her schedule yeah. and that will. And see, you know, and even. Yeah. If you show her that and say yeah. we like that yeah. because that's what would. With the colors and stuff yeah. and she just uses her gps smart yeah. you know stuff and overlays it and then we can we can make all that. i'm sure she can make all that happen fairly okay. easy and it will be added to our database that eventually gets onto the website as a link for still right. so 
Mm-hmm. And we could even put this on the website too. Yeah. Yep. That would be down field. You know, so the official. Well, let me take that off. Oh, no. <laughs> Our elephant. <laughs> Okay. So, John, if I give you this, and are you, who's going to interface with uh, your write up? You're going to interface with Cody? No. Yeah, I'll yeah. forward. Um, All right. I guess what I'm leading to is the Bowen property is only as, as a trail. Right. If we could attach that map to go on the website too. So, what we, he needs to attach that map, right? Somehow. Because. So, I, I would send that along with. That with information, that information. To Cody and, and so okay. under the Bowden, when it's describing the Bowden property, then there'd be a link for trail map right under your okay. heading of the Bowden property. So you click the trail map. Okay. So, so do you want me to email this Cody? I can email that to him okay. and I'll send it all as one. So is that the preferred okay. uh, format? So the information that, and then the, that Linda and then the link, link to the trail map. Under yeah. Him. yeah. All right, that works. That'll be okay. our first one. Okay. We're moving. Yeah. <laughs> I got off the subject. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll talk to, what's that girl's name again, Linda? Lynn Carlson. Lynn Carlson. And we're we'll separately meeting. we we'll do a map similar to this. So that one there is a WIP, all right? Information packet. All right, now this is, I don't know how we want to do it. We want to attach some names to this. Who's going to be doing what? I guess the map I can. I think with you and Lynn working that all together, the map's going to get, get done. So. Yep. But we're talking about pamphlets, handouts. Yeah. Okay. The map. Feedback sheet. You got to do land trust activity days. Send her a write up. Mm-hmm. For Candace. To Candace. And since you're better at grammar than I am. Okay. That's Candace's email. So. Just say, Candace okay. told me to, to give you a, a call. Okay. So just let her know that we're doing this. Find out what we were planning for September. Okay. Okay. Um, and see what, what September date she comes up with. And then she'll okay. ask you for a little write up, you know, about the trail, the activities, and so forth. And um, then she'll post it. Okay. For so, the whole statewide okay. land trust. All right. So maybe what I need to do, you want me to let me write up what I understand what are what are our activities going to be that day just walk the trails let me go to my files i'll come over the write-ups okay and, all right and i'm going to you and you yep. can pick and choose with her okay. okay this will be more similar to the Bowden property than janice sullivan because janice sullivan was doing more of a dedication right right Bowden, so if you use the same wording for Bowden for that the, my theory is always make it simple stupid yeah. don't complicate okay. life you know all right. i'm just going to change the name to yeah. Yeah. Right. and so as far as the date is concerned she's going to come up with the date that we're she just has doing. the dates of when things will be planned from a yeah. state but it's our point. date september 18th yeah, yeah. that's okay. the date we want if it's on that calendar in september okay i don't know if it's the 21st or 20th or the 16th i don't know what day it would be okay all right so, okay. So if you send that to me, then I'll create something. Do you want me to vet it with the rest of you before no, I send no, it? You can, yeah, just interchange with Dennis since he's, you know, okay. on that. You don't have to vet that with the whole, whole group. But, should, but it, what it is is just posting for the, for the. It's free know, advertising. Yeah, free advertising. Okay. Can I, let me grab that up. Can I have that other sheet back? Because that would be my reminder. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, let me do the write up. And this is right up. Press release. I used to be. That's mine. That's so, I'm going to take just basically the, the write up that Linda's going to do, and I'll make sure our local um, newspapers and everybody gets a, a copy of it in advance okay. so they can post it and or attend if they want to send a reporter to. All right. And I will okay. do the, the press release. 
and the invitation letter is okay, the same. Do that the, the database, right. I'll just update it for the, so the should officials. I, should I send it to you then? After you two have vetted it out and, and said that that's good, you know, basically you're just changing wording from the Bowden and the date yeah. and that, and then just send it to me because then I'm just going to cut it and paste it and send it to our, as our press release. Is that going to be common? Let's set some dates on, on doing the press release and, and stuff. We usually, I think I did two weeks in, a, in advance. Was uh, I thought the invitations for government officials would be mentioned a, a month. Month, right. Press release press I did two weeks in advance so people wouldn't lose, you know, if they printed in the newspaper, mm -hmm. they wouldn't get too far out, they'd have it and they'd release it. Then. That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the month will be August 18th. So that'll be one month. And the press release uh, will send out by September 4th. Okay, signage. I did, I've been doing that. I'll do it again. All right, Dennis on the signage. I just don't have to put it at both ends, I guess. Drones, that usually was Rory. I'm not, I would. Yeah, let's just put a question mark there. I don't know whether we, we're going to do any drones this, this time around. Okay, then I'll put a question mark for now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what you can do is just drone slash photos documentation, you know, change that, you know, so if somebody's at least taking a lot of pictures that we can use for archives and things, you know, if we're not using the drone to fly around or whatever, like we did at, uh, that again? so somebody's taking pictures to, to make sure that our event is okay. documented. Who's going to do that? Well, that's why we need phone and maybe Rory can. If, if the, I, and I'm going to say that we will probably stay away from the drone side on this yep. and just have the photos, somebody taking snapping. Maybe okay. Rory can uh, manage to, to snap pictures for the archives and then we can also add those to the website as a link if we come up with a couple of good ones for Stella Hall, right. the waterfront right. or whatever with some people walking around or whatever it will be. We can add that as other links to them. Uh, okay. All right, so somebody's going to let her know unless we throw it on at the next yeah. meeting. All right. We'll sign her up for everything. Okay. <laughs> She'll never miss a meeting again. That's right. right. Feedback sheet. I have what we've been, been using, so we could do it again. I'll say why we can. There's no reason not to. Not to. Because right. the questions won't change that much. I mean, the signing sheet, I guess I have a lot of stuff I gave to Josh. I don't think I gave him my, my master's though. So I should have that also. Pamphlets and handouts, it'd be more what we already did in the past, what we have, what land trust is about. You know, a lot of photos I found in these file cabinets, I just cut and pasted, right. you know, to make them into a sheet. And again, if, if we come up with any of these other pamphlets and handouts from DEM or anything, that, that's all good. Mm -hmm. Pass it out. Pass yeah. it out. We'll just have right. enough copies to, yeah. you know, like 20 or 30, 30 copies will, will be more than enough for the event. If we had handouts on like these invasives that yep. Yep. Leonard yep. was referring to. So that, yeah, is that something you can get the little pamphlets? Bingo. You just put them up. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to approach DEM and um, URI extension and see if they have any appropriate pamphlets that we can hand out. And if and I don't I don't need a 30 copies. I just need one that we can then we can copy or if they have, you know, sometimes they do a lot of their own printing and they're looking for places to distribute to. So um, OK, this would be a great opportunity to, to do that. So you might get a box of a thousand, but that's OK. Yeah. <laughs> so you might that. pick up information if anyone goes to the land trust conservation conference. Mm -hmm. That's July, according to that, and that date me, did schedule we, did I saw. We, well, just while you have that thought, just a question: Did we get a a, a letter for land trust dues this year? I haven't seen. I you know, so. last last year I thought it was around this. It's usually March, but yeah. you know what I had on the Google was you know this is it. No, the constant the well I know the the actual events in Kansas will show no that three, three well, days. I, isn't it? I think it might get addressed to the chairman, and that probably would have coincided with the time that Josh departed. Oh, I wonder so if I it, think yeah, I bet the you they probably dropped on that one. Okay. Yeah, because we haven't seen our, we usually approve paying the land trust dues and we have not seen a, a letter come. Right. But last time I thought 
when I was chair previous that it came to the town and addressed to me, but um, okay. it's, nothing's come here. Nothing's come here. Huh. All right. Um, um, I could follow up with them. Um, yeah, if you that, could. That's just the, uh, if you can call Candace or email her, she'll tell you. She should know. I haven't talked to her in six months. As far as I know, she still works there. All right, yeah. I'll follow up with them. Yeah, I, I, on one of the thing, on one of their stuff, I just saw her name on the oh, thing okay. sent out just recently. So she's still active. Okay. Okay. I just didn't, didn't want to lose the thought that yeah. we she'll you know, know for sure. Sure. That we haven't paid paid our dues for this year. Thank okay. you. You want to add that to the agenda for next month? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dennis, go ahead and proceed. All right. Um, all right, event supports, that's all Roy. Donations, raffles, she's always done that. Yep, yeah, well, I hope she can work us. Work I hope she can too, because she knows what the magic. She, yeah, the magic. Okay, refreshments. She usually gets those as donations. I think you and her worked it last year, I think. But Rory did it by herself, because I she? did not. Yeah, she got the, the water donation, more water donated and a couple okay. snacks. Right here. That's uh, Roy did the snacks. You and her did the water. Okay. Yeah. So I okay. I brought water. But... So you're going to do the water, and then what else you two agree on? I guess it's worked twice. It'll work again. Okay. All right. Support supplies. Going down the line. First aid kit, Roy. She has that. Oh, bring ice. Okay. Bring an ice chest. Okay. Bags of ice. I'm just going to go right down this list. Well, that's the Sullivan property. It should be the same. Bags of ice quantities. So, Jack, that's you? Yeah, I think more than one person brought an ice chest. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about bags of ice here. At the yeah, I, I brought ice too. Okay. Yeah. So, you and I brought some ice. And too. you brought some ice. So that could be Linda. Roy, she did two. All right. Now, uh, where's the ice chest? Oh, all right. Ice chest. You and Roy are going to do it? Okay. So that's Jack. And Roy. Going back. Tick spray. That's me. Two cans. Okay, pop up tent. That's Glenn. Yep. Tables, Glenn, right? Yep. As long as we can load them on, on your vehicle. And that my, done. Yep. Paper, that's me, Dennis. Paper towels and napkins. Chairs. Glenn. And Glenn. Same as last year in the back of your car. Yep. Portable John is Joyce. Portable John. <laughs> we are going to have one right in the parking lot. We'll have something visible there. <laughs> That'll be Glenn. <clears throat> okay, signage. Two posts. That's me. All right. I got to pick up some of that cardboard. And that's pretty much it. Oh, set up. That's a piece of cake. Yeah, we did everything. We the event was ten. We get everything set up at nine o'clock. Got yep. everyone there, and so nine a.m. show up and set up. The location of that tent location, Portable John. That'll have to be done. The Portable John is probably the night before or the day before. Yeah, so they delivered it the last time. I think someone met him. You met him and waited and waited and waited and waited for him. Yeah. You need to the John before they even delivered it. <laughs> they had to wait so long. They were awful that day. I know we were calling them, trying yeah, to find yeah. out where they were. Yeah. And for whatever and reason, it was on the end. You know, the, the Nancy well, that was on the set. hill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we wanted it out of sight. Well, this one, once we got it low, it worked. Jurassic it worked. Park, no, it worked yeah, good. It worked fine. I mean, when he first got it off, it wanted to go like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you um, for the comments. So comments. I think what we, you know, we can we can do is have them set it at the far end of the parking lot, off to the side. You know. Yeah, towards yeah, away from the going to the trail was right, so going to the opposite end of the, of the just like we did at the right. at the opposite end of the parking lot, away from the meadows. Village. Or is that too far away? Huh? Up by the middle, the level meadow where you know they have to deliver it, right? No, let's keep it in the parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's don't start going all around. Okay. That's too much. We're parking space, though. We don't have a whole lot of parking space. No, but I think there's enough that we can at the end there. There's more parking there almost than there's at Bolton probably. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. 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 We're just gonna make sure when well, well when we when we go, if if we feel that we can um get rid of a few cars and co convoy back, you know. So I'm gonna be you've got the table and chairs and stuff and whatever, instead of having my car, your car, and all this other stuff, we could shuttle one car and just get it out of the way if we feel that there's too many you know there's six of us potentially gotcha. seven of us that we don't want to have seven of our own vehicles right, right, there right, 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 right. Yeah. and then have people having to park out on philip Hill road there so it'd be yeah, better it would be road after right it'd be better it like that back street so let's we had you know, to celebrate yeah you know, and people were parked so we could shuttle there. people back down to the trestle trail parking area just there's plenty of parking there and just park a couple of vehicles and then someone shuttle them up to the work site and that way our vehicles are close by shuttle you're going to shuttle some up if we have an overcrowd no i'm saying the work party yeah. our yeah. group us. Uh, us. so that you know, we're not putting, yeah. if we put seven of our own vehicles right. there we're right. going to take up you know a third of the parking with our own stuff yeah. but we can everyone get on load and then we can mm. take a couple of cars down and park it down at the trestle trail parking lot area right. the duration of the event and then okay all right so we talked to september we all hustle mm -hmm. so the, the map and the sign uh, the map and the marking of the trail are... oh that's the marking of the trail the way you and i talked i think it's not a lot of marking it's not... no there's not too many spots no. you can right right but just enough and people yeah. can figure it out yeah and if we do have to drive in into the ground a, a couple of stakes with a sign or whatever uh -huh. just to get us started for this event you know like to loop around or whatever yeah. or extension we can do that too yeah that looks like a good map because it has the topo features on it too you know Mm -hmm. This is what I got from Dennis. Yeah, this right here, this area is somewhat of a challenge. You know, this we could put the typical Appalachian Mountain Club markings, but okay. just 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 the end, this this hairpin, you know. So they know they go around. Yeah, so. and, and and I'm thinking a cut log. Laying on the ground, so, so they don't want to little part. Okay, right, 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 right here. Yep, yep. Because you're afraid they might start going. Up yeah, that yeah. Way. That's true. I agree with just, that. Just, just, just a, a barrier. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and there's, and there's plenty of dead wood there. Yeah, just to, the roll. To, you know. Yep. That's. Uh, how many? We kind of what? Three trees. Yeah. On the way yeah. out of this side. Yeah, that, that's that's something we can do in the near future. Yeah. Okay. Just to take care of that and consolidate this. If we can debris. get the town to get that stuff out of here and back here, yeah. Yeah. I think everything is going to fall in place. But right now, what the eye sees is what the eye is going to remember. If they see all that garbage on the trail, I mean, I thought this was a land trust. What's all this stuff doing here? You know, the psyche is all I'm saying. If, oh, absolutely. If we have to, this debris here, we can move down here. Okay. That's an wheelbarrows, you know, yeah, I'll could. bring a wheelbarrow, bring a wheelbarrow. Yeah, and we'll just... That's what I was thinking, you know, if you can't this get stuff down. This stuff is way back over yeah. here. No. In no, 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 not this stuff here, but right. we'll bring, bring it here and stage it there. Yeah. How much my wheelbarrow could do, you know, <laughs> or anyone. Well, you and I can do most of this because we got to cut the trees all down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we could do all that in yeah. one. Morning or afternoon. Get there Saturday morning and knock it right out. Not this Saturday. Not whatever. this Saturday, you know. Not no. the following Saturday, but after that, Saturdays are opening up for me. Okay. 
Good. I'm more concerned kind of about this stuff over here. Yeah. Well, I, let's see what the town can do for us on that. If they can shut up. She does out. the map. She can, she'll pick up this. It, this looks a little deceitful, but it really, it comes down more like back farther back this way. This part that comes around. Mm -hmm. It's closer back. It's, yeah. yeah. I was I was done off eyeball and memory, you know, at the time. But Lynn having that capability yep. to be able to lay it over yep. you know, appropriately on the map so we'll show the closeness. Good. So you'll uh, before I leave, you'll give me your email. Oh, you're gonna email me your email, right? Yes, yes, I'll I'll email you um, I'll get tomorrow, tomorrow morning with our contact information. Yeah. Tomorrow morning? Yes. Okay. okay, I don't know. I think. All right. Do we have anything that we've missed on land trust days that we're feeling we've missed? Cones in the road. Do we want to do any sort of thing on the curb collection? You know, like public works might give us, or you know, it, it might not be a bad idea to have a couple of orange cones right on that. Yeah, you know, by corner. River Hill for just this event, which know. is just up from the parking lot, and maybe no, I'm just thinking right, right on the, the corner um, of Phillips Hill, just as between the, the so people stay on the left side of the cones instead of walking in the street on the corner. You don't go into the entrance of the entrance to the trail. Right? Yeah. yeah, if we they had like three yeah. cones and tell everybody as we're you know we're going to assemble in the parking lot area and just remind everyone to please stay on yeah. on the left side of the cones as you're walking to the trailhead. Mm -hmm. And if that's just. Get, a, are you going to get the cones, Linda? I mean, no. Joyce? Is that what you're writing? She's going to, so I'm not the only one. Good. <laughs> are you going to pick up the cones? I, I go to Public Works and ask. Can, well, I, can you? I'll, I could reach right across the. If you can, see if you sure. can get six. I'm just thinking how long it is. Yeah, yeah six cones. I run over and ask. You know, yeah. Michelle works there. And we won't put them out until Saturday morning. You'll bring them with you on Saturday morning, and then we'll take them with us. Well, I'll bring them sooner than that to sure I have them. You know. Yeah, well, don't don't yeah. put them out on the road before then, because yeah. Friday yeah. night they'll be gone. Right. Just, we oh, we only want them while I we're there. I was thinking that since the kiosk gets empty, I guess yeah. that's a well, good the tones, Yeah, if you left the tones there Friday night, that's a good choice. Joyce, if you think you're going to not remember, give me a call. Anything after, say, 5 o'clock, I can come and pick them up. Yeah. Put them in my storage area. Yeah. Does that make sense? I mean, it's just another option. All right. I see what they say. Six okay. cones I mean, to borrow down. just for <laughs> Saturday, yeah. and then we'll take them right back. But they, they only go out Saturday when we get there to set up for the event, and then we yeah. take them with us when we leave and give them back. So nobody else gets them. All right. Good thought. That's, that will also add a little visibility to us. Yeah. Having that on the corner, yeah. Okay, good. Thanks. All right. Anything oh, so else? Email. I gotta email, email you the, the right okay. stuff. Okay. You got All right. All right. I don't think there we're I I think we're in good shape. I don't see any showstoppers. We'll keep on plugging and if we can get the trash out of there. That will be the, the biggest of the things that are really left to do that we have to, the rest of the stuff will sort of come together. All right, GIS mapping. I don't know, did, did Lynn, did we get Lynn joining us or anybody joining us, John? No one no joined attendees us. right now. Okay. So um, GIS mapping, which um, we're, um, Lynn and uh, Larry will certainly be supporting uh, the group as we progress with this, but I think we discussed that. Um, last meeting. So I'm excited that we may finally have a, a lot of uh, a great resource on the uh, mm -hmm. land trust added to our, our board. Hopefully for next meeting we'll be able to because all the Lynn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. All the trails that you have that we know are trails. Hopefully she can make maps for every yeah. single one. Of them. Yeah, that would be wonderful. And then just get them right onto the website and we'll be with the links. I, that's going to be big for us to, and then she can use that information to the stuff to, that they're working on for other projects and the same thing you know this is a community resource because if we get on some of the other websites and they put links to us um, 
yeah. as on a statewide level as resources. So it's, it's really, mm. really going to be leaps and bounds. So um, great. So that's good mm. news there. Is anybody need a map? All right. Um, I think we covered everything on our agenda. So, issues of interest to add to the June 21st, 2022 agenda. We just talked about the land trust, uh, dues. trust dues. Sure, state. And, um, you know, I, I think that the uh, action item is to, to if, we're, if we're delinquent or whatever, we can pr probably find out when maybe, maybe they mail them or email them to Josh or whatever. And, but we'll definitely want to pay those uh, dues. So we'll get mm -hmm. that on our. And John, that's a line item on the ops budget. Correct. Okay. Okay, I'm nervous about the money here. Right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other things that we need to add to the June meeting that um, coming up? You have that. Do I have what? You have that. Do I have that? Post, this particular this is piece. An old copy. I no, have, I know? don't have that particular. You probably have that because you know what we wanted to do. The kiosk joining in Sandy Bottom so, uh, Road. Mm -hmm. the, and Linda was, was thinking it, the do's of board list. Yeah, thinking was that can I give this to John to have Gail yeah. and, 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 and Dennis that, didn't have it, I guess. Oh, right. Right. Can you have Gail scan that and just send it out to the, the, the trust members so we all have an electronic version of it? But that was that was vintage stuff. I like that. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so if she can just scan that and send it to the board members so everyone has a copy of right. that. The blue trail is heavily used, but that other red one yeah, may be grown in or... And the same yeah, thing with this, proposed, John, with the Bowden future, map that yeah. Dennis, if, you know, yeah, I like having those things electronically also stored. And so whenever she sends me an email, I just store it in a file. So I, I have an attachment somewhere in my database. I'm better at keeping it that way. When you give me piles of paper, my house starts getting like that high. So I try and store it electronically on the land trust and then well, I put it in, but I always like to keep a hard copy. Oh yeah, no, it's it's nice. It. Yeah, some, it's nice. Some old school. I know. You're, it's, mm. If I could downsize the piles of papers in my house though. Well, I can't stop all the time once I get it loaded, but but I keep one master of everything. I just hope I didn't give all my masters to charge. And I know your house has a filing cabinet system like all these files here. I, I, oh, you saw it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's good that um, if we can get these electronic. Sometimes I'm, I'm taking the office to show you how it's all set up. <laughs> all right, good. Any, uh, so no other issues to add, no new issues. I think we got a lot on our, our plate. So we want to really work with Kevin McGee to get that sign in the ground at Janice Sullivan. Um, the trash cleanup. So we've got a couple of, of projects um, for, the town, for, for him to their coordinate. Support in the, in yeah, the next Kevin, month is very important. Yeah, and I and I think Kevin's willing to, to help us out. We just have to put our resources on our side. So he's you know he doesn't want to waste his time. He doesn't have time to. We have know, to show up. We have to show up and be there, ready right. to go when he's ready to go. Right. So. If, Did you say you wanted me to come to when you when you see uh, Kevin? Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Let me know what time and what date. Yeah. Okay, public comment. You want a Friday, right? Friday works better for me. Yeah, okay. Well, but if push comes to shoves, I can do a little. Okay. It'd be the first time. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, you guys work I can't out. do it as a way of life, though, is what I'm saying. Public comment is that anyone join Just us. Just us. So there's no additional public comment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other things that we missed or need to cover? On our agenda here, I think we covered it all. I don't think I skipped over anything. Great. I make a motion we adjourn. <laughs> I like that motion. Do I hear a second? <laughs> Seconded by Jack. <laughs> Jack seconds the uh, motion. Any further discussion? All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Unanimous. Aye. Adjourned at 7.49 p.m. All right. Good work, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>